This is our presentation about shapes and lines. Lines are created by the subject, and they're actually there. You can actually see them. They provide different moods and emotions. Implied lines are not actually there. It's like a person pointing off a cliff. Your mind automatically extends the tip of the finger and then creates a line. Vertical lines, they convey strength and dignity. They create order in the picture. If your mind really likes it. This building looks very strong and orderly because of the vertical columns. It can also be used for group pictures of peop different people. They look very dig dignified and strong. Horizontal lines calm down a picture and create tranquility. So normally a very action-y and intense photo, the horizontal lines of the track help calm it down very peaceful picture with the horizon line is a very obvious horizontal line and then the horizontal lines on the bridge really create a peaceful photo and it can also be used in, during people with the horizontal lines of their bodies make diagonal lines are like the opposite of horizontal lines where they give movement to a picture and life and tell a story in this photo, the downward diagonal of the arms gives a story of him falling into the sand to get the ball, very intense in action type of photo. In this picture, the upward diagonal of the bear jumping off the rock makes our mind figure that he's going to fall into the water just because it gives that movement. A curved line gives beauty to a photo and calmness and an awe moment. In this picture, the plant's curve makes the picture even more beautiful when it also gives a sense of calmness. In this photo, the tide is coming in and out and makes a curve along the sand. And in my opinion, that's a total awe moment. An S-curve is kind of like a curve, but it has different aspects. It gives a photo beauty, but it also gives a photo movement and of liveness. In this picture, the S of the lizard's tail shows that the lizard is alive and has movement and not just a still figure. And the natural S curve of the river's path adds to the gracefulness and beauty and calmness of the photo. And lastly, the S curve of a woman's body gives it a va-voom factor and shows attractiveness and attention to a photo. A leading line. Leading lines immediately draw the viewer's attention towards the subject. They are normally more obvious and easy to follow. The lines most commonly start at the bottom of the photo then get smaller as they lead towards the subject. Also, in order for a leading line to actually be a leading line, it must have an endpoint. If it doesn't have an endpoint, it is just a random line in the photo that doesn't help draw attention towards the subject. First example. The windmill is the subject of the photo and the flowers before it are creating the leading line. So the viewer automatically wants to follow the flowers path towards the windmill. Another example is this bridge and maybe even the water below it. They both help to draw the viewer's eyes towards the building in the back. The bridge is the main part leading towards the building and it catches the viewer's attention a little faster. The water, however, does have a leading line effect because the lines lead towards the building and sort of vanish as they get closer. Other implied lines. Here's a few more examples of implied lines. Circles, triangles, radii, and the L shape. Circles create activity because they help add movement to the photo. Triangles create strength and dignity because they add a sense of stability to the photo. A radii is simple. It draws the viewer's eyes in and out of the center of the photo. Lastly, the L shape is good for framing the photo and helps to draw more attention towards the subject. The water's ripple effect creates some obvious circles. Ripples look like they're moving, therefore they're adding some activity to the photo. The grass blades here are creating a triangle. When looking at the triangle, you can see the point of intersections. It makes it feel like the grass blades are stable and set in place, adding that strength component. This radii draws the viewer's attention in and out of the center of the photo. We automatically want to follow along the lines 
and even the path of the staircase towards the center and back out. Shape versus form. When it comes to shape, the photo is normally shadowed in some way. Even though something in the photo is 3D, it looks 2D because of the lighting. It is harder to distinguish object, objects when it comes to shape because they look flat. Form is when you can clearly see the outline and the build of the subject slash, ob slash object. Lighting is also key for form because in order to actually see the subject's build, you'll need it to be brighter, that way it doesn't create a shadow. First example here is showing shape. You can only see the silhouette of the soccer players and not any of their actual characteristics. They look flat to the screen and don't add any depth, even though they're actually 3D. An example for form is this building where you can see its actual layout and dimensions. You can see both sides of the building and it adds some depth. The building is clearly 3D and not just a silhouette on the screen. 